Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well and you've had a good week. Before I start, thank you to everyone who tunes in on a Saturday at 1.30pm. Anna and I have been doing Instagram lives whilst we're in lockdown. We just feel like it gives us a bit of like structure, it makes the weekend feel different to the weekday and we've had a lot of feedback from people saying that they feel the same way. So thank you so much if you've been watching our lives. If you haven't yet watched, it's basically like me and Anna having a catch up in front of you guys. We catch up about our week, like the highlight of our week, things we've seen online, music we've listened to, TV shows we've watched. Sometimes we'll take some other questions as well. It's just, it's been really nice to do. We do it while Grey is napping and sometimes the boys get involved. Yeah, I've really been enjoying it. For today's video, I thought that I would go through my wardrobe. Now, I'm always a bit like apprehensive to do this because in the UK, I feel like the weather tends to tease us. Like it will be a little bit sunny and we'll all get excited and get our spring clothes out. And then actually like today, it goes back to being a little bit miserable and rainy. So I never really know when to like put my winter jumpers away and when to get my spring summer dresses out. I think the key to this is just not doing anything too extreme. Like I think I might put away some of my really really thick heavy jumpers but keep some of the thinner jumpers out because it's not like boiling hot every day and then I want to basically go into my storage boxes that have my spring summer clothes in and have a look and see what is in there. Now the past like couple of years have just been weird for me in terms of style because obviously I've completely changed body shape million different times I was pregnant and then I was like post baby and even now like the jeans I bought a month ago don't fit me like I'm trying really hard not to like waste clothes but it's also tricky because I was always the same size for like 10, 15 years and now suddenly I feel like I'm a different size every month. So I have no idea what clothes are in here. I don't think it's that much stuff. I've got a few boxes I'll show you. Um, and a lot of it might be like proper summer holiday stuff that I don't need to get out, you know, unless I'm going on holiday. We did have two holidays booked. I don't think they're gonna happen, which is a shame. Not, not so much because like I want a holiday, just because I really wanted Grey to like experience a holiday and swimming pools and going in the sea and stuff, but one day she will. So I'm going to go through those clothes, have a look what I've got, see what I can take out of my current wardrobe and I thought you guys would like to watch along. I've got three boxes, this one and then over here I've got this one which looks like it's more holiday clothes and also this one. In here I've got occasion wear which I think I might leave in there for now and I think there's some baby clothes I need to go through that were like hand-me-downs for my sister. Okay, I'm going to start going through this box and make a pile of things that maybe I want to try on and decide. I have a lot of workout tops in here it seems. Um, I think these were things that after I had grey didn't fit me so I'm going to try them on. I have no idea if they still fit me. I've definitely gone up a couple of sizes, but I'm gonna give them a go and if they don't fit me, I think I'll pass them on. There's no point holding on to them for a really long time. So let me try on all of these workout clothes. Oh my God, my Lululemon Align pants. I was looking for them everywhere. Oh, what size are they? An American six. I don't know what that is, but it's probably a 10. Oh, I don't think those are gonna fit me. They were so expensive. I'm gonna try those on. If they fit me, they are the comfiest like lounging at home leggings ever. I really hope they do. Okay, and then over here I have, let's have a look. Oh, this is a really nice black jumpsuit. It's completely see-through. So I remember that I never used to wear this out. I basically just wore it around the house, but like a sunny day like yesterday, that would have been really helpful. All of these things though are gonna be, that's a size 10. Mm, I just don't think. It's so hard to know whether to hold on to things. Cause part of me is like, well, I might be a size 10 again one day, but then also that pressure to like, have these size 10 things. I don't know, I feel like that's not very healthy. This dress I wore, this was like the first thing I wore when I went out after having a baby. It's from Amanda Other Stories. And it's nice, but I don't know, you know when you have a piece of clothing that just reminds you of a time, and although it was a really lovely time, I felt so gross that day. I remember the photo, I've got it on Instagram actually, and I'm not sure I love this dress, I think it's just the only thing that fit me, so I think I'm gonna give that away, my sisters will like that. And then I've got, oh yeah, I remember these, these like shorts. This, this All this stuff is gonna need to be tried on, I didn't actually realise. Oh my god, I absolutely loved wearing these last year. This is like a linen, like, play suit from And Other Stories, and that is a size 42. I think that'll fit me, because I remember wearing that just after <clears throat> Excuse me, just after I'd had grey. This orange dress I think is so cool. It's from Mango. And it's like knitted. But I remember it not being very flattering, but I'm gonna try it on again. Another kind of linen-y jumpsuit. There's no point in me showing you all of these now because I'm gonna have to try them on. And this is one of Rich's shirts. Okay, that's one box done. Box number two, polka dots. 
This is a polka dot shirt. Oh, I had a phase where I loved these Topshop shirts, but they're very short. Um, I was wearing really high-waisted jeans with them, and I'm not sure if that's my the style that I can kind of get away with at the moment, but I'll try it on to see. These are just some H&M leggings. These are from Topshop, and they're kind of like a legging but a tracksuit. I might try those on again and see. Again, see more of these Topshop shirts. I've got so many. I've got it in white, and I've got it in this kind of like pinky colour. I'm not sure this is my style anymore. Let's put them all together and I'll give them a go. This and other stories top as well. I think I wore this to like a special occasion of some sort. Just gonna have to see if that fits me. This skirt, I already know that's not gonna fit me because it used to be quite small anyway. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. It's like another one of those Topshop tops. I was obsessed with that style. I think this is winter stuff. Let me just quickly look through it and then come back to you. Okay, a lot of that stuff I think was maternity, so I'm gonna put that in the loft. This is a summer box. So I have things like my June sandals, which I absolutely loved wearing. Is it time to have sandals out? I guess it wouldn't hurt to have them like in my little shoe cupboard. So I'll take those out. And then I've also got a kind of string not string rope version Let's see if i can give those a bit of a clean as well i think a lot of this is like holiday clothes this dress is from i think i got it from urban outfitters but it like wasn't their own brand years ago and it comes out every summer it's perfect for just like being around the house so i'm definitely going to take that out and then a couple of these dresses are kind of more like by the pool dresses although maybe they're kind of lounging around the house as well i'm gonna leave those in there for more of like a holiday vibe gosh does anyone remember this dress i absolutely loved this it's from asos it's like a polka dot i might try it on i'm not sure if i can get away with that kind of thing anymore <gasps> This dress I loved so much, but I don't think it's gonna fit me like around my boob area, around my um, like ribs. It's a size 10 and it was always quite small anyway. It's Topshop, I'll try that on, but I don't think that's gonna fit me. What else have I got in here? This kind of white summery dress, is this from Hush? Yeah, I remember it being from Hush. What size is it? 10. Oh, I loved that. It's got this kind of blue pattern. I'll try it on. This cherry dress from um, Realization Park. I've got a few of those. They're more holiday because they're really, really thin. This I wore when I was pregnant, so it'll probably still fit me. Quite an easy, just like white ASOS dress. I'll give it a go. Oh, this I wore in Ibiza. It's from Pampalone, which is a really nice brand. It's stretchy, so that might fit. Oh, denim shorts. A pair from Weekday and a pair. I think I got rid of my like tiny, tiny ones a while ago, so they might fit. I don't know where these are from. These are Topshop. Oh, swimming costume. Keep that in there. I'm not going to be doing any swimming anytime soon. <laughs> I've got a few swimming costumes. This is more, again, yep, that's more of like a holiday, holiday jumpsuit. All right, what is in this one? These, um, I think these are from Muji. You can get them on Amazon. They're quite good. They're like storage bags, but they kind of like squish. They're not hard, so you can like store them anywhere, like under the bed, stuff like that. This is a top shop dress if i remember correctly yeah it's just like a strappy button dress i wouldn't wear it out because it's quite see-through the buttons stop quite high but it's nice like summery vibes if it's like a hot day like yesterday i get really hot around the house oh loads of swimming costumes most of my swimming costumes i get from next i find that their shape is just the most flattering i'm gonna leave those all in there i don't need to try those on i need to and then those everything in here is all like beach cover up this might be fun to wear around the house because it's like a tie-dye kaftan tie-dye is like having a real moment again so i might keep that one out okay that's everything pat myself on the back like my past self for sourcing through any like crap in my wardrobe because then now there's not much to go through perfect so i'm going to try on all this stuff we will see what fits and what doesn't <laughs> This wasn't meant to be like a what still fits me video, but turned into one. The Lulu Lemon Line Pants fit. I mean, they're stretchy leggings, of course they fit. I'm over the moon. They're so comfy, guys. They are a fortune, but it literally feels like you're wearing nothing. Oh my God, I'm gonna live in these. Damn, I've already had like three weeks isolation without these babies. This is a Lululemon workout top, definitely keeping that. Technically, this vest top fits as well. I mean, it's a bit like, I suppose it's thin, which is good because then you won't get hot. I don't think it's what I would naturally reach for to work out in. I prefer things to kind of like cover my bum and be a bit longer and looser. I'm not entirely sure. I might put it in the maybe pile. This one I think is sweaty betty, but it's, 
It feels a bit tight around my back. It doesn't feel particularly comfortable. This is Lululemon 2 and it's a little bit on the tight side. But I'm going to keep it because they're expensive and in the winter I do like wearing these longer sleeve tops. Okay, I decided to get rid of these sweaty betty ones and just keep this one black one. I don't work out that much so if I really need to wear a vest top I've got this one black one which again is a little bit small but it will be fine. I also have this zip up which is from Sweaty Betty. It's definitely on the fitted side, like I wouldn't normally wear one that tight. I definitely don't think I could work out in it, but I could wear it to go somewhere. So I'm gonna keep it. It's got these kind of like sheer panels down the side and oh, this is nice too. I knew this would happen. I've got so much workout clothes for someone that doesn't really work out, but this is a really nice, I think this is also Sweaty Betty, a really nice like big neck comfy jumper. I'm just gonna have to find space for all these workout clothes. I'm just going to try everything on and then I'll start putting it all back into my wardrobe and figuring out what I need to take out of my wardrobe. Um, so this is the jumpsuit from ASOS. I always feel really weird about having like loads of skin out, I don't know why. I don't think I'd go out in this and it's got this like elasticated waistband here that I don't think is very flattering. But it's really comfy and I think I could definitely wear it around the house when it's just like really thin and airy so when it's like a warmer day so I'm gonna keep it because I do love a jumpsuit. I love this and other stories play suit so much. I wore it so much last year or maybe even the year before I can't remember it's just so comfortable. Again I don't know if I'd go out wearing this but it's perfect for around the house when it's like a really hot day and you don't want to feel any tight clothes on you. Love it. Gosh I really need to fake tan that is on my list of things to do this week. This is the weirdest dress. Yes I'm aware you can see my underwear. I feel like you have to be Lucy Williams to get away with this dress. If you can kind of see maybe I'll show you here it's like it's like textured. It's really comfortable but First of all, it's see-through, like you can see my belly and my knickers and my bra, and like it's quite like clingy. I really want to be able to wear this, but I can't really work out how, unless I just keep it as like another round the house dress and try and find nude underwear. I think these shorts are still worth keeping. I can't remember where they're from. Sorry, I should have checked. I think they're H&M and they're kind of like loose cotton high-waisted shorts. I think they're worth having for when it gets really hot. And I've tried on one of these Topshop tops to go with it. They're handy for when you're wearing high-waisted things. I don't like this yellow print one, so I'm definitely not keeping this. I think maybe the polka dot one is quite nice though. And this one actually isn't that short. I think I could wear it with jeans. This is the black one. See, now I'm thinking it's worth keeping them for when I wear high-waisted things, which isn't that often, but it's nice to have some like shorter tops. Actually, the more I look at these shorts, the more I think they're not that flattering, but they are comfy. Oh, I might keep the black top too. <laughs> I'm definitely not keeping this pink one though and the same one in white. I just hate the kind of really kind of crepey material they ma they're made out of. This top is not staying because I can't actually get it over both arms. <laughs> this linen jumpsuit is from M&S and it's really comfortable. It's like a little bit big for me, but again, it would be a good one for wearing around the house. And I think if I faked hand, it would look better because my skin, in real life, my skin tone and the jumpsuit are pretty similar. But I think that's, that's nice. I do love a summer jumpsuit. I crack this dress out every year. It's my like hippie dress and it was great when I was pregnant. It's just like the best thing I have in my wardrobe. It's so comfortable. Yes, you can see my knickers. I don't care. I wear it on the house and I feel angelic in it. I feel like my mum in this. It's such a my mum on holiday thing, but seriously comfortable. This is and other stories and it's a tie-dye caftan and I'm totally going to keep it in my wardrobe because even before having a baby, if I got really hot, I'd be really flustered. So now I feel like I'm going to be even more flustered. So this would be such a good, like when we're at home and it's really hot and we're in the garden, easy outfit. Oh my gosh, my weekday denim shorts fit. Woohoo, I'm so happy. Yes, they're so good because they're slightly longer. They're not like tiny hot pants. Oh my God, they're quite tight, but they feel good. Yes. These ones are Topshop and they just do up, but they're really tight. Like I wouldn't be able to sit down at them and they're quite uncomfortable. Um, there are 12. I'm gonna keep them just in case they do start to feel a little bit looser. At the moment, they are cutting in so tight, like I literally can't breathe, so. I could wear them undone though. I'm actually gonna get rid of this Topshop dress because I remember how annoying I found it, that the buttons stop literally at the worst place, like right where your, you know, is. So I'm gonna get rid of that because I remember that's why I never wore it last time. I bought this dress for that Ibiza trip we went on with Anna and Mark um, just before I got pregnant. I think the trip was in July and I got pregnant in the August. I really love it. It's very short. 
and quite tight. I'm gonna put it in my summer box. I'm not gonna wear it this year, but maybe it's something for the future. The Topshop dress still fits. I'm so happy. I really love the print. I love the shape of this dress. It's very short though. I wore this to a summer party and I'm not entirely sure I'd have the confidence to wear this to a summer party now. I mean, maybe I would. Um, I'm gonna keep it because it fits and I love it. There's definitely, <laughs> This definitely looks different on me now. Different is good. Gosh, this dress just reminds me of being pregnant so much. I think I've even got an Instagram photo of me wearing this and I've got a massive bump. I don't think this line here flatters my kind of boob size that much, but there's no denying it's a very comfortable, light summer dress. It has like a V that goes down at the back and you can wear it back to front. Tempted to kind of keep this. I'm really bad at getting rid of stuff that I should probably get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of that, this because now I've tried on this hush dress, I've realized that I think this is a bit more like grown up and suits me better. I really like the detailing here. Um, and then it's just like a kind of longer dress. And I think this one suits me more. This is a polka dot dress from ASOS. Again, I feel like this is like my old style and I shouldn't really be wearing dresses like this anymore. But then part of me also kind of quite likes it and thinks it's quite fun. I think I'm gonna put it in my holiday box because it's more of like a holiday dress. I'm going to get rid of these Topshop leggings because I remember from last time I wore them, they, they come up really high. There's loads of excess material and they're just not that comfortable to wear. This is so ridiculous. I bought this in New York when I was pregnant. I was like early first trimester pregnant. I thought this would be comfortable. I got it in a large without trying it on, got home, it didn't fit. I mean, I'm trying it on now. It is the most unflattering. I mean, obviously this is pajamas guys, but it's not even that comfortable. It's just ridiculous. I need to get rid of this, it's from Gap. Um, I thought it would be great and it's just it's, it's just not great. <laughs> okay, now I need to put this stuff back in. So there's only really like four to five like dresses, jumpsuits, two pairs of shorts um, and some workout clothes. And I need to iron a couple of those bits as well because they're really creased. But let me see if there's anything that can come out. I think I already did this when I did my last wardrobe clear out. I took out like the really wintry stuff. I'm, I'm nervous to take too much out. Actually, there's things like this. This is like a knitted jumper dress. This can go back under the bed and maybe actually this m s blazer this is a pretty like autumn wintry sugar i need some more hangers and they're under the bed i might need rich to come out up and help me in case you're wondering why i can't get hangers out from under the bed our bed is really he heavy to lift and i've already got a really bad back so i need to be careful rich got the hangers from under the bed i went downstairs to feed gray while he did that perfect so now i can hang all of those bits see so yeah, i'm gonna put all the like summery stuff to the right Okay, now I'm gonna put all of the workout clothes, I think in the bottom drawer. Okay, currently in this drawer, there are also some kind of loungewear bottoms. So I think I might make this into a workout drawer. Let's see, so the hoodies can go at the back and then we've got vest tops and leggings. And still fit that in. These can go up in the pajama drawer. I'm not entirely sure how to kind of store these denim shorts. Um, I haven't got any clippy hangers. So I think for now, I'm just gonna keep them up here on this shelf. And now I think I'm gonna put some of these jumpers away, like some of these cashmere jumpers. I think we've definitely passed the kind of cashmere jumper stage, hopefully. And maybe some of these really thick knitted jumpers too. Okay, now I'm gonna use one of the empty boxes just to store some of those kind of winter jumpers. This one from Under the Stories has gone really bobbly, so I'm just gonna use my little debobbler thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know how obsessed I am with it. This, guys, is my debobbler. I love him. So addicted. So those are some winter jumpers. Oh, I can add this to it as well and the m s blazer and then these can go back at the top of the wardrobe rich will need to do that for me and then i just need to sort out the summer box and make it a bit tidier because i don't want to come back to it and it'd be a total mess <sighs> i 
and that's everything. I also did this to try and work out if there's anything I'm missing in my wardrobe for spring. Now is a really weird time to shop, I feel like. Also because my body shape is always changing, I just wanted to check I wasn't missing anything in my wardrobe. And actually, especially at the moment staying at home, I think I've got kind of everything I need. And there doesn't seem to be anything immediately that comes to mind that I'm missing in my spring wardrobe. If you watching this thought, oh, she doesn't have a blah, 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 let me know. But yeah, I don't feel like the urge to shop loads at the moment for clothes. We shall see when we are allowed to go out again and what the weather is like then. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed that and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet checked out my IGTV, I am uploading videos kind of once a week there at the moment. I'm not on like a strict schedule, but I have been so far. They're kind of videos that I wouldn't put on YouTube. So things like last week I did like how to make a latte, like me learning how to make a latte video. And I've got a series on Instagram called hashtag ask LP where I'm taking questions from you guys and making little short videos about them. So I did a tour of Grey's wardrobe and I've got some fun stuff coming up, hopefully too. So head over to my Instagram if you want to see those. It's at Lily Pebbles. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.